Hello everyone. I've added some more features to the simulator, and for the first time we've evolved some behaviour that I'd describe as really quite clever. I'll first show you the changes and then we'll get to the core behaviour. As I promised last time, I've split the creature's vision into left and right components, and I've implemented vision of characters as well as food and trees. I've changed how collisions are handled. Previously creatures were stopped dead when they collided with a tree or each other. Now I just reduce their speed and allow them to overlap but repel each other which also makes for better handling of spawning. I've changed how the impulse output neuron works. I got fed up with the backward movers evolving all the time, so now creatures can only move forwards. I wanted them to use their eyes. So the impulse is now the absolute value of the output neuron. Finally I've reduced the amount of food that can accumulate in the meadows. This makes it a lot less likely that a creature will get enough food without needing to be a bit more clever about it. I've also fixed a bunch of bugs that were resulting in odd behaviour. So there are now two vision input neurons. I assigned a virtual height to each object in the simulator. I assigned trees a height of one, creatures a height of one half, and mushrooms a height of one tenth. In the first run of the simulator, the creatures evolved to take advantage of a bug in the mutation code. They got progressively smaller until they were barely visible. Actually, in general, the creatures have been very good at finding and exploiting any bugs. I'm starting to think I should be calling them viruses. I'm, cu I'm curious if anyone's ever used a genetic algorithm to perform code testing. Anyway, this tiny size was advantageous to them because the ease of movement is relative to their radius. But I fixed that bug to stop them getting smaller than 6 meters in radius and ran the simulator again. In both simulations, pretty, some pretty smart behaviour evolved. So let's have a look at that. This was filmed at around 3 million ticks, and the creatures have been evolving for over 3,000 generations. The most obvious thing going on here is collision avoidance. If you follow one of the creatures around for a while, you'll see them turning so quickly away from trees that they appear to bounce off them. In actuality, they have seen the tree, and they are immediately swerving to avoid it. The same thing is going on when other creatures are seen, which is why practically every creature on the map was spawned from a single parent. This is either a side effect of not wanting to hit trees, or a desired behaviour, since hitting other creatures will slow it down. The creatures are pretty short-lived though, so perhaps it's a bit of both. The population count also occasionally drops below 150, which I set the limit for creating new creatures at. So that's why there is occasionally a random creature being shown. With the reduced fertility of the meadows, this seems to be the limit of what can be evolved, so I might make the tiles a little more fertile next time around. However, the creatures have also become quite adept at steering themselves towards food, so perhaps the scarcity of food encouraged them to evolve faster. So let's see what's going on here in the brain of one of these creatures. This is the neural network inspector you may recognise from one of my earlier videos, and I've loaded in one of the smart creatures. I've set up the input neuron so that it's seeing nothing and touching nothing. If I change the amount of energy the creature has, we can see it moves progressively faster, which uses more energy, the more energy it has. Interestingly, at about 1.05, the impulse neuron is basically zero, suggesting that this is about the amount of energy the creature is most happy with, as it stops moving at this point. Now let's see what happens when the creature sees some food. Normally it's moving along with an angle change of 0.2 radians, but if some food appears in the left field of vision, it now veers to the left at minus 0.7 radians, and increases its speed. When food appears in both fields of vision, which probably means it's right in front of the creature, it straightens up to minus 0.3, and puts on another speed boost. Something similar happens when it encounters food on the right hand side. There's a similar effect when a tree is encountered, but it's strong enough that the creature turns sharply away from the tree rather than steering towards it. If there's a tree right up ahead, the angle change is pretty close to pi radians, which is 180 degrees and therefore an exact U-turn. I think it's pretty cool that this neural network calculates estimates of pi as a side effect of evolution. Finally, as a bonus, here's a clip of the buggy simulator, where tiny creatures evolved. They're pretty cute! So what's next for this simulator? Well, I received a suggestion from Benjamin on the previous video, suggesting that the creatures could make noises that other creatures could hear. So I'm considering how to do that in an efficient way within the simulator. I'm also considering introducing a predator species, and I might also allow the exact position of the eyes to be evolved. In the meantime, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you again soon!